Ten Sticks and One Rice takes place largely during 2010 at Ang Mokyo, but through flashbacks, readers are taken to 1960s Sambawang and Thompson, Serangoon Road and Bishan in the 70s, and Jalan Kayu and Katip Camp in the 80s. By and large, stays in the north of Singapore. Uh, why did you only stay in the north of Singapore? He's an eastern person. I'm a northern person. I grew up in Kampong Santing. You say as if Singapore is a very big <laughs> country. <laughs> My experiences has always been in northern South Singapore. But I, I thought I think it's a good thing because I, I've not really. I, I don't didn't read many Singapore books by the way. But I, I don't. I haven't come across many books that are talking about locations beside the east and central of Singapore. So this. I thought it's a good thing to, to highlight it. Yeah. Sunday Times gave Ten Sticks and One Rice four out of five stars, and with illustrations a big element of graphic novels, the responsibility fell to illustrator Hong Teng, and drawing from real life was the name of the game. In the book,、um, there's actually a funeral scene, yeah,、uh, quite prominent funeral scene,、mm-hmm. um, and I've heard you actually had a lot of experiences, unfortunately, illustrating a lot of funeral <laughs> scenes in the books that you've done. I won't say a lot, but a couple of them. Yeah. How many? Uh, there's a short story which I、uh, created with Dave、right. uh, for Liquid City Book Two.、Uh, that has one, and、uh, obviously Gone Case. There's one funeral scene as well,、right. and this one here. Do you actually come and take photos of, say, the void decks or certain yeah, things yeah, that you need、yeah. to do? Well, what, what are some of the stuff that you took photos for? When I take photo is for for myself to get a sense of the space itself. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's,、uh, because if you look at the white decks, right? I mean, there are pillars, and you are trying to avoid、um, those when you're comp- you know, doing the composition. Right. So this is the the actual spot that、uh, we saw Sate. At the time,、um, I think the grill was here, facing the road. In the book, it says it says that、uh, eventually the demand for for sate sort of like waned.、Mm. Uh, while in the heyday, it was like you get thousands at a time. Yeah.、Uh, was it like that before? Yeah. So it was、um, one of the conversation I had with my father, and at that time it was part of the sort of I was doing the story in the beginning, so I'm trying to come up with the idea what is this story about, and. So I was just asking you to just tell me a bit more about、uh, the time when you signed something. What was it like? And, and so he made a remark that、um, back in the kampongs,、um, people buy satay、uh, big volume. So, so business is very very. You sell satay by the hundred. You know, but but as the kampong starts to be、uh, moved because of redevelopment, so naturally the the family units become smaller because you used to live with your whole big family, extended family. So the the number of sticks gets、uh, each order gets lesser and lesser. Right, right. So in a way, that was the the premise behind the story. Ten sticks and one. As a hawker, character New Hock Singh's business suffered from a country rapidly progressing, yet with a population declining. No stranger to hard work himself. Just after three months, co-creator Yong Hui bought over the failing advertising agency that employed him, and since 2001, turned Petrite's creative works around to be one of the leading integrated marketing communication agencies in Singapore. It was there when he met collaborator Hong Teng. Yong Hui tells us his book shows us that the kampung spirit is a positive element that Singapore has lost. What is the number one takeaway that when someone reads the book, what do you want them to 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 feel or think about? What's the, I, I what's think, the main message of the story? I don't think it's about giving anyone a message. Is it, is it more like telling them、um, uh, something like a fact of life? This is how it is. You can't change it, but it is. So, like one one of the thing about the story and why we call it ten sticks and one rice is really about. I was saying earlier, like、uh, as as、uh, you move away from kampong, you know, then you go to HDBs and as.、Uh, Society becomes more、uh, sort of more. There's a lot more privacy.、Uh, units, families are getting smaller. So you you are you are a bit more detached from each other, further away. And, and I think it's this is seen through a hawker's、uh, point of view that、uh, he's getting lesser orders nowadays.、Yeah, but I think from a country's point of view is that、uh, the, that that、uh, sort of kampong spirit has been. Hong Teng is currently working on a graphic novel about the Tanjung Pagar railway station, while Yong Hui might write a novel with more sci-fi themes. Ten Sticks and One Rice is out now at all major bookstores.